55 coming back plus Thursday equals Ashley Day. It's been a long time. First, I gotta say to Lori, awesome for finishing the half marathon. I know I speak for all of us when I say how ridiculously proud I am of you. I was gonna email you like a really fantastic quote from somebody about running marathons, and I ended up just reading quote after quote and realizing that I'm never ever gonna run a marathon. Examples. Marathon running is a terrible experience. Monotonous, heavy, and exhausting. Marathoning is like cutting yourself unexpectedly. You dip into the pain so gradually that the damage is done before you are aware of it. Unfortunately, when awareness comes, it is excruciating. So yeah, I'll pass and just go ahead and congratulate you. And Leah, don't worry about missing so many vlogs. I missed a lot too. And Addie, I'm in the same boat as you. I'm back up to the same weight I was this time last year. What I really hoped that 55 would get me would be an awesome like before and after, like a year ago I looked like this, and then I looked like this. Now obviously that hasn't happened. And when I thought about restarting 55, I was like, well, do I want to go into it with the expectation of a before and after picture again? Because the more I thought about it, the more I realized that before and after pictures are really just two moments in a person's life. And then I look at a picture of myself from a couple of years ago when I was thin, and I realized I really wasn't that happy of a person because I never really reached my goal weight. So even while I was thin at a place where I would love to be right now, I wasn't happy with where I was because I never felt I was at that after picture. So you've got that situation a couple of years ago where there was big me and then almost really little me and I really wasn't happy where I was versus right now where I'm exactly the place that I was last year but I feel so much better about myself right now than I did before. One thing that's really different is that for the past like five months or so, I haven't been feeling like I'm battling with food. It's like food and I called a truce. Well, it's more like I've let food win the last few battles. And when I think about where I want 55 to go this year, I really want it to be about me changing forever how I interact with food. Okay, food, I need you to keep me alive. But just seeing you food as a way to keep me alive it's like watching a movie without a soundtrack. You aren't supposed to just keep me alive, you're supposed to add something to my life. Just like in football, there are rules that you have to follow or else the game just isn't any fun. Whenever I overanalyze what I eat, it's like a watching a football game where they analyze every single play after it's done. And you're like, I don't even wanna watch this game anymore, it's boring. But you can't just forget the rules entirely or else then you'll just be a backyard game with some kid who just won't follow any of the rules and he ends up like running into his house with the football and saying that he wins. I feel like I've just gone from back and forth between overanalyzing things and trying to lose weight and not having any fun versus just trying to have fun in the backyard and not following any of the rules and gaining a lot of weight. And the outcome is, I never really enjoy eating. And that's what I want to change. I know there are some rules about food that I have to follow or else it just won't be any fun and I'm going to gain weight. But I'm not about to restart the cycle of overanalyzing everything that I do and eat because it hasn't worked. But one thing that I have decided is that I'm not going to beat myself up about food anymore. It just makes me sad and I don't want to be sad. So anyway, that's my welcome back vlog. Next week, I'll probably go into more about what it is I'm actually going to be doing and kind of updating you on this like happy diet that I'm going on. It was great to see everybody this week and Kimmers, I will see you tomorrow. Give you a hysterectomy. What's done is done. That's like my old uncle Jose used to say. Once the milk is in the bucket, you can't swirl it back in the cow. <laughs> Go with it? Not really. That's all right. My uncle Jose was an idiot. There's nothing that I can do to help you. I'm Chihuahua. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. Thank <laughs> you.